All right, we have a clogged garbage disposal here. Um, this is the second time this has happened to me. Um, first time I was able to unclog it using a plunger here, uh, but this time it's not working, so I think we're clogged. And I'm going to attempt at fixing it. So, removed everything from underneath the sink and set some towels down. Uh, to catch any drippage and or leaks when we uh, undo this pipe but before we get started I'm gonna, the first thing I'm going to do is unplug uh, the garbage disposal we don't want to mix water and electricity obviously so I'm going to unplug that and then I'm going to take a bucket and I'm going to set it right underneath the disposal and my setup here I don't have a really good way of actually getting a bucket under all of the pipes, so what I'm gonna try to do here is loosen this part here so that when the water drips down, I can hopefully capture it right here in the bucket. So let's give that a try and uh, see how that goes. But you can see there's been some pasta here that uh, kind of clogged up the drain, so we're gonna get that all freed. So to get this started, I'm just going to use a regular flathead screwdriver and we're going to loosen the two screws. There's one on the right and, and one on the left side. Um, you saw all the water that's currently up in the sink above, so it's going to be quite a bit of water that uh, escapes once that loosens up. So again, make sure you're prepared, have your towels down and a bucket at the ready to, uh, to catch that. The idea here is to loosen this up just enough so that you can gradually pull it away and uh, just let the water slowly escape out and drip down into the bucket and slowly leach out so you don't have one massive gush of water that thus uh, gets all over the bottom of your sink. So try to avoid that as much as possible. All right, so let's start loosening up these screws. Okay, so to access the screw on the left, you're really gonna have to get down in, into the sink and uh, get your screwdriver on it so you can see what you're doing. So um, work the left one first um, and then the right one. Uh, it'll be a lot easier uh, to work it that way um, because then you'll have more control um, from outside of the sink when you're working the right screw to gradually loosen that pipe. All right, so here we go. So far, pretty easy to Loosen that up, not too bad. It may not be a bad idea to wear some protective eyewear when you're in here, just in case there is a gush of water. You don't want that stuff getting in your eye. All right, so it's loose enough. I could go ahead and work the rest of it with my hand and there it's come loose. So let's go ahead and start working on the right screw. All right, so this is a much more comfortable position and we'll start to loosen that up and you can see the screw turns with relative ease and I'm just going to gradually slowly let the screw go and I'll work the rest of it with my hand okay so far so good okay now I'm going to Remove the screw, and I'm going to set that aside. <clears throat> All right. Now, make sure my bucket's in place again. Okay. Now we're going to take that, and pull that back. <clears throat> All right. Now, you can see here I'm already starting to get some drippage from the pipe so it's getting some air and it's starting to release some of that water so let's see what we can do here with this now there we go see I'm just gonna pull it just a little bit and I'm gonna let it just drain down the side of the disposal again before you do this please make sure that you unplug the garbage disposal 
So I'm going to go ahead and let that gradually drain out down into the bucket. Try to make as much less of a mess as possible. Let that come out. Okay, so I pulled that out and I'm letting it kind of gradually leach out. Another thing here is I've got my plunger still in the sink and that's helping control the flow of the water down through the garbage disposal so I'm not getting any sudden rush and massive gush of water coming out. So again, trying to control the flow of water as best I can so I can get as much of it into the bucket as possible and not in <laughs> all over my sink. I'm sorry, the, the base of my cabinet. So I'll let this completely drain out and then we'll be back and see what things look like. All right, so water kind of slowed down. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out a little bit more and start to let things come out a bit. I can almost already see some of the clogged pasta there, maybe worse further down in it. So I'm gonna let that keep going down into this bucket here. You can see some of it's hitting the pipe as well and hitting the towel, but that's what that towel's there for, so. All right, so water has really slowed here because I still have my plunger in the sink, um, clogging it up from the top. So I'm just gonna reach up and use my hand and I'm gonna gently move the plunger to the side, just slightly so that I can get that controlled flow of water down into my bucket. And I'm gonna, gonna continue to do that until the sink is completely empty. You can see how full my bucket is getting now. Be slow and steady with it. Believe me, it'll pay off in the end. It'll make a lot, much less of a mess. Okay, my sink is completely drained out now, so I know I can safely, safely remove the bucket and let the towels just kind of catch these uh, little drip drops here. So I'm going to remove this bucket, empty this out outside, and uh, then we'll be back to uh, clear the clog out of the pipe. All right, so at this point I'm going to glove up, and I'm just going to kind of grab some stuff there, whatever that was, and uh, we're going to remove the pipe out. Toss that in our bucket, and you can see, all right, when I shuck that out, I got uh, some muck. So that's all pasta. Um, I know it's a little disgusting, but you know, hey, you're going to be working your sink here too. So um, I'm going to take this ring piece and I'm just going to toss it off to the side. And there we go. We've got our clog. So let's go ahead and get that all cleared all right, out. To make sure this is completely clear, I used my hand and got all the gunk out of there as best I could. Uh, but to make sure that it's actually cleared out all the way down this stack, I'm going to take my vice grips and I'm going to loosen this up. Uh, remember lefty loosey, righty tidy. I had kind of loosened it up a little bit off camera already. So um, you might have to put your left hand on this bar and use your right hand as you loosen this up. Um, I put a bucket under here just in case it leaks on me. But uh, go ahead and just turn the ring and loosen it up. Okay, once that's loosened up, I didn't get any drippage, so I'm just gonna set my bucket again to off to the side here. Move this back, move that pipe a little bit out of the way. And here I can see that there's still some stuff down in here. So uh, next step then is gonna go ahead and loosen, th loosen this one up so we can get that off of there and clear that off. I was able to loosen this one up by hand. So lift that up, lift up your pipe, have your bucket nearby. And yep, there's the rest of it. So. Let's see, there's the inside. And we'll just shake that stuff out of there. I'll spare you the nastiness. And I'll just bang that up against the side of my bucket and clearing that out. And uh, we're mostly clear. So I'll use my finger to push the rest of that down. Get that out of here. And this is where having the rubber gloves is handy. Okay, 
we are mostly cleared out. So I'm gonna set that off to the side on my towel over here. And then uh, I'm gonna get down here and then visually inspect this pipe, make sure that that's clear. Uh, and then uh, I'll give a look in here as well and make sure that that's relatively clear. If there's a little bit of stuff in there, then that's all right. When you turn your water on, that'll flush down as long as the rest of your uh, system is clear. It'll be free to uh, pass through and go where it's supposed to. All right, so we'll be back after um, I inspect this pipe and we'll see how things work. All right, so for me, this was definitely clogged up. It was filled all the way up throughout the whole piece here. So I loosened it. I was able to loosen this one by hand. And again, I just took my bucket and I just shook it all out into the bucket. So um, I think we've got the problem cleared out. I inspected this one here. There's not a whole lot of anything in there, so I'm just gonna leave that be. Um, now I'm gonna reverse the process. I'm gonna piece everything back together um, and then we'll plug it back in and we will give it a look, make sure everything works, that there's no leaks and uh, we'll be back in business in relatively short order. Okay, everything's been reassembled. Um, I just reversed the order essentially from what I did before. Um, one note is that a lot of this stuff is just hand tighten only. I really didn't need the vice grips to begin with to loosen up any of these. So um, use your hands and uh, hand tighten as well. Do not over tighten, this is plastic and um, over tightening can definitely cause issues um, and, and cause leaks. So um, I've plugged uh, the garbage disposal back in. Um, oh, one other thing is that when I was attaching uh, this piece here, um, the only thing I didn't do in reverse is this the order in which I installed the screws. I did the left screw first, but I did leave it a little loose so that um, when I guided the pipe back onto the garbage disposal itself, um, I was able to see through uh, the gap of the ring and the pipe and the garbage disposal unit and make sure that it was aligned properly. I then installed this screw, tightened it up into place, and then went and retightened the left side. So um, just a you know little tidbit uh, for something that worked for me. So let's go ahead, turn on the water. We're gonna wanna check for leaks. Um, make sure everything's good. So turn on the water. Things are coming down, and so far, so good. No more backup. Water sounds to be flowing through uninhibited, and I'm not seeing any leaks. So let's turn on the garbage disposal. That sounds better. All right, problem solved. So do yourself a favor, do this for yourself. Uh, don't pay for a plumber to come out and do this for you. Um, just takes a little bit of time, a little patience, um, a little willingness to get dirty, and uh, you'll be done in no time. So um, I hope you liked the video. Uh, please consider giving it a thumbs up if it helped you out. Um, leave some comments below if you have any questions, um, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.